Sorry, um, I was just listening to some uh, epic gamer music. Uh, uh, let's let the let's cook something instead. Merry Thanksgiving! Ho ho ho! It's the time of the year that you're obligated to go and see family, whether if you want to or not. Which that in and of itself isn't bad, until they ask you, "What are you bringing for dinner?" and then you freak out because you need to save all your money to be able to buy video games. But you still gotta bring something. So what do you bring? You bring something cheap. But just because something is cheap, doesn't mean it has to be disgusting. It can still be delicious. That is what we're going to do today. Make some classic Thanksgiving food that's good on your wallet. Some of y'all are gonna recognize this. Some of y'all might even love this particular dish. Green, Bean casserole. It's not expensive and it's easy to make. Even you idiots that are holding on to Apex Legends hoping that it will be good again can make it. Let's go. What do you need? Two cans of green beans. A can of condensed soup. Some french fried onions. A regular onion. Red, yellow, white. I went with red because they're the best. Some green onions. <laughs> Mick. Well, you know. Butter, sir sauce, and olive oil. First thing we gotta do is wash and cut the tear maker. Wash. Cut up that bitch. And then die from the onion fumes. <laughs> I'm literally seeing spots right now. I shouldn't have just inhaled that onion. Take off a few layers, slice it up, cut it in halves, and then in quarters. You can go smaller if you like, go eighths if you want to, or just go fucking crazy with it like this. Now heat up a vessel to cook those onions in. Wow! You're gonna need some butter for this. About half a stick. That's basically half. Put that butter in the vessel. Now put them onions in the vessel. We're going to slightly caramelize these bitches, not fully because that takes hours. And I ain't got time for that shit. Stir them up and get them nice and ready. While you're over here, go ahead and turn your oven up to 350 degrees. Prop. While the stove is working its magic on those onions, go ahead and prepare the rest of the dish. Two cans green beans. Drain them of their life force. <laughs> ah, some got in my eye. <laughs> That's drained enough. Casserole pan. Wow. Empty them. Really? <laughs> Empty them. Oh, come on. Thank you. Second one. <sighs> Add a teaspoon of soy sauce. <laughs> I can't believe I completely missed. How did I completely miss the spoon? And a teaspoon of olive oil. This time, not missing the spoon. Yeah. Now a can of condensed soup. I'm using cream of jalapeno. It will give it a nice, unique flavor. <laughs> The onions smell like popcorn. Half a cup of french fried onions. And then half of a cup of milk. You didn't see that. Now stir it up. Now put this concoction in the oven for 25 minutes. On! Keep making sure those onions are doing good. After the onions get soft, it's time to clean up and cut up the green onions. I bit it and then I remembered that um, I haven't washed these yet. So uh, hopefully I don't die. Wash. <laughs> Chop the ends off of the green onions and then slice them pretty small. Maybe don't keep doing that though, because you don't want to accidentally cut yourself. Try doing this motion instead. 
and now fry these bad boys up. I didn't set a timer. Okay, when the onions are looking, you know, kind of like, kind of like this, you know, kind of a brownie brown, 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 you're gonna need to add a ingredient that I forgot to mention. Panko crumbs. Rock. Oh, this bag is made out of like titanium or something. What the actual hell, dude? It's got a little rip right there. I'm going in. Got it. Add a cup of panko crumbs to your onion mix. Got it. Take the stuff out of the oven. Do not yet turn the oven off yet though. Now take your onion panko mixture and put it on top. Now put it back in the oven for five minutes. After that five minutes, take it out of the oven. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go gamers. There we go gamers. Look at that deliciousness. I'm actually really eager to try this because uh, I, I, I've never had it before. I, 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 I kind of, you know, just made it up a little bit. Took the classic green bean casserole recipe and uh, did it a little, uh, little flair of my own kind of thing. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. All right, here we go. Let's get a little bit of everything in there and blow on it because it's hot as balls. But, you know, uh, let's give it a shot. That is quite legitimately the best green bean casserole I've ever had. I am not trying to toot my own horn here. This is really fucking good. And with how good it is, you won't even have to worry about your family asking, you know, how your life is and what's going on and everything, because they'll be too busy stuffing their faces with this. That's all I got for y'all today. Thank you for watching, everyone. I truly do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.